work and I just wanted to show you guys real quick how to make tinted lip balm. Um, it's the simplest thing. So they've talked about having a tinted lip balm, um, but if you don't wanna wait for that to come out, two things, blush scents and lip balm. You can pre-mix them or if you want to, you can just take the little bit on your finger because this is very pigmented. So here, I'll show you on the back of my hand. Ooh, real quick. And this is a blush since you can blend it out, whatever. But it's a very pigmented color. So you don't need a whole lot. And you're just gonna put it on your lips. Just kinda to give them a little bit of color. And this is pink berry. Yesterday I did cherry with the clover gloss. Oh, amazing. It was like the perfect like shimmery pink. I got pointed lips, so I have to be careful because if you get it above your lip, it's obviously you gotta get it off somehow. In the corner. And just like that. You could put matte gloss over it and it would just be a matte look. That would work too. Or you can just leave it as it is, whatever. But if you want to hydrate your lips, you're going to need something over it. So I'm just going to take some lip balm. I'm just going to squeeze it out of the tube. I don't know if you can see that on my finger. And go over it. And just like that. It's a nice little subtle pink, nothing too bright, nothing too fancy. Um, it doesn't last all day like the Lip Sense does, but if you pre-mix it in like a little pod, like you would like a little lip gloss thingy, then you have it all day. And you can just reapply it as you want. And it's hydrating your lips. There's no wax in the lip balm, so it's not gonna dehydrate your lips. It's not gonna, wax creates this like layer on your lips it keeps moisture from getting in and so no wax equals moisture fuller lips that's it tell me what you think if you like the color and i will talk to y'all later